So if I if I'm if I'm to understand correctly, the first sort of strategy that you you're deploying is um, you're you're constantly connecting with people on LinkedIn um, yes. through your profile. Uh, you direct people to a group. Is that group on mm -hmm. LinkedIn? Yes, uh, we renamed it to the Northeast Executive Network, and it's uh, called Streamlining Processes and Maximizing Pro Productivity. So within that, we find articles, we post, we, we're going to eventually take that more than just a LinkedIn group and do offline kind of sessions and, you know, meetings as well. So the first part was just kind of building enough of a, you know, critical mass on LinkedIn in that group. And then we're going to take that to another level and start doing maybe, you know, these offsite kind of workshops and things of that nature. So you invite people to this group mm -hmm. and then how does it jump from the group to a, to a call? Right. So once once they connect with me and then once we invite them to the group and they accept, there's a period of time, I believe it's like a week or so, then it kicks in again and starts requesting an opportunity that here's an article that I saw in my group that you might be interested in. Let me point out a couple of things in that article based on their profile. So from that kind of business intelligence, it starts kind of, you know, we're actually doing a little research before we even communicate. And then we start asking for uh, potential to do a call. You know, I'm interested. And it's not, we're not limping in. We're trying to really say, look, we want to do business together in a way. And we say it in a proper way. But so they know the call is not some kind of you know, call where we're just trying to like do research because that's not fair. Because once we give them the call, they know it's not a research call. It's a sales call. 